Hello everyone, today I'm going to build a tiny gaming PC that delivers amazing value for the price and it's easier to build than any other PC build. Hit the like button and let's start. What makes this build so easy is that instead of buying all parts separately and building from scratch, I bought an ASRock DeskMeet B660 as a build base. For $190 we are getting PC case with the motherboard, power supply, power cord, a bunch of screws, rubber mats, two SATA cables and the manual. I also got a Wi-Fi card which I wasn't expecting to be included. I'll get back to this one. The compact case is made of metal, it does not have fancy glass panels but keeps a minimalistic look. The front panel is already connected to the motherboard. We have a power button, power indicator, headphones jack, 3.2 type C, 3.2 USB and USB 2.0 ports. The case comes with rubber mats. You can put them either on the bottom or left side. It comes with a motherboard pre-installed in case. It's a B660 chipset motherboard with 4 M slots, up to 128GB support, 2 M2 Gen 4 slots, PCIe 4.0, Wi-Fi slot and free SATA ports. We even have some heatsink. On the rear side we have HD audio jacks, Ethernet, two USB 3.2 and two USB 2.0 ports, VGA, display and HDMI port in case you want to run on integrated graphics. CSU is also included. It's a 500 watts power supply with a bronze certificate. The cooler in this PSU is installed backward to intake air from the back side. We also have a short cables here for better cable management. Now to complete this build we have to add CPU, RAM, storage and graphics card. I'm going with an absolute bang for the buck Intel CPU. It's an i3 12100F. 12th gen Intel CPU for $100 getting 4 cores 8 threads with 4.3 GHz turbo frequency. I think it fits this build perfectly and we'll see later how it performs in games. Just gently install CPU in the socket and close the bracket. The maximum TDP of our i3 is 89 watts so a stock CPU cooler with a pre applied thermal paste should handle temperatures. For RAM I went with 16GB kit DDR4M from Team Group. It's a good RAM on 3600MHz frequency. And for potential upgrade you can buy this kit again to utilize all 4 RAM slots and have 32GB of RAM. Now for storage I got a 500GB M2 SSD from Western Digital. It would be good to add an M.2 heatsink if you want to go with a high-end SSD. I also installed a Wi-Fi card into a slot. Now it's time for the graphics card. The case is limiting us to dual slot graphics card up to 20 cm in length. After looking through a lot of ITX and compact size cards, I decided to go with the RX 6600 from PowerColor. For $220 we are getting 8GB of GDDR6 memory and a boost lock up to almost 2500MHz. This card should be a good fit to our i3. I see you guys also mentioning this card in the comments. The PowerColor fighter card is exactly 20 cm in length. It has two coolers and three heat pipes, which is good since our case does not have any airflow. I would not say it was easy, but luckily I was able to install it in place with no gap left. Finally, let's install our PSU. I have to connect everything first, CPU, motherboard and GPU. Short PSU cables are just enough length. I would like to have them in black color, but since the case has solid side panels, it's not really matter. The first boot was successful and ASRock software started installing drivers. Speaking of Wi-Fi, I found out that the Wi-Fi card I got should not actually be included. And in order to have Wi-Fi you have to get another Wi-Fi card which will take one PCI slot. But that's not the way for me since I have GPU taking all the slots. So with some DIY work I installed both antennas in the IO shield and it turned out pretty good. Now that we have this compact beast ready, which looks very minimalistic in the setup, just a clean design with no RGB. Let's test gaming performance. In 3D Mark getting 17 900 points and the temperatures are staying under 70 degrees which is good. All games I tested in full HD on 144 Hz monitor. Starting from online games in CSGO on competitive graphics getting 300 plus FPS. In Warzone 2.0 with balanced graphics preset getting 100 to 130 FPS all time with a good frame time. Apex Legends on high graphics running smoothly with around 144 FPS all time and perfect frame time. In PUBG with very 
high graphics, getting stable over 100 FPS most of the time. Moving to single player games, in God of War on high graphics getting smooth 80 FPS. This game loads our hardware pretty well, but we still have good temperatures. CPU under 70 and GPU under 80. In Elden Ring with max graphics seeing stable 60 FPS with no drops even in loaded scenes. Cyberpunk on ultra graphics with FSR in ultra quality mode, running with around 80 FPS most of the time with a straight frame time graph. Cyberpunk is very CPU intensive game, but our i3 is showing a great result here. In Spider-Man Miles Morales on high graphics and FSR in quality mode, gaining 100 to 120 FPS most of the time. In this demanding game, PC gets just a little noisy, but the noise is not loud and it's comfortable being around. Now let me know what you think about this build in the comments and would you buy something like Azrock Desk Meet for your build. And if you're interested in building PC, check my other videos on this channel.